Okay, what we have here is a single union PVC ball valve. Now, single union, as for its name, only has a union fitting on the one end of the valve. The direction of flow on a single union ball valve is always this direction, with the flow going into the union end and coming out of the non-union end. The handle on it, like all ball valves, turns through 90 degrees and that 90 degree turn gives us a fully open to fully closed operation in a 90 degree turn. The valve operates on a full bore basis so there are no parts when it's open to catch any grass or other debris in the pipeline. If we take off the union you can see, first of all, we have an o-ring in here, and the valve is fully serviceable by closing the valve and pushing the ball from the other end. Then we have the valve seat comes out, the valve ball with an o-ring, and then you can see the valve seat on the other end, at the other end of the valve. So even though it's a single union ball valve, all the parts can still be taken out for servicing. The main issue with single union ball valves is that if your pipe is glued in this end, there's no way of actually getting into the valve at all. For that reason, they're only really used on the ends of pipelines, for example, where a pipeline is emptying out into a tank where you don't actually need a pipe which is glued into this end, or it can just be loosely in, in this end and you can get access to the valve for servicing. So it's all very easily and quickly reassembled. O-ring goes in on its seat, other seat goes in, little push to get it in, then the sealing O-ring and then the union is back on again. So there we have it, a single union ball valve. Thanks for watching, bye.